Hey guys, Dr. Frank here, founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs. And in today's brief video, I want to talk to you about nicotine withdrawal and a timeline of what you can expect when you first start to quit vaping, quit smoking, quit chewing tobacco. What is it that you can expect over the next few hours, the next few days when you first start to quit? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. I'm the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs where we help people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and a whole host of other addictions. So if you're struggling, reach out, text or call the number below for a one-on-one -on -one consultation. So when you first quit smoking, when you first quit vaping, one of our mottos here at Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching is get through the first 72. And if you haven't watched that video, it's our most popular one, be sure to check it out. And this is in reference to getting through the first 72 hours. For many people, when they're quitting smoking, quitting vaping, quitting using nicotine, the first 72 hours pose the biggest challenge. Now, when you vape, when you smoke, you have nicotine that's circulating through your blood and you have nicotine that's binding to the nicotine receptors inside of your brain. Someone who smokes, someone who vapes, someone who uses nicotine has billions more nicotine receptors in their brain than someone who doesn't use nicotine. So what does that mean? That means that those receptors, those billions of receptors are always turned on and they're always craving, they're always fiending for more nicotine inside the brain. This is especially relevant within those first few days of quitting using nicotine, the first 72 hours. So you quit vaping and it's day one. What can you expect? Some people may start to experience physical withdrawals within the first 24 hours from nicotine. Some people may not. For some people, the physical withdrawals are very, very, very minor. But somewhere between the first 24 and first 72 hours, you are likely to experience the following changes. A dull headache, a lot of sweating, some insomnia, agitation, anxiety, maybe a bit of depression and mood changes, gastrointestinal changes such as constipation, and you might get some shakiness of your voice or your hands, of your extremities. Now, a lot of those withdrawal symptoms are due to that lack of dopamine being released. Every time we consume nicotine, it binds to the billions of nicotine receptors in our brain, dopamine is released, and you get that feeling of serenity, that feeling of decreased anxiety. But remember, the only reason you're getting decreased anxiety is because you fed the craving, you fed the nicotine receptors in your brain. It didn't actually help you with the anxiety, it created it, and now you're just giving it the solution that it was looking for. That's the nasty thing about nicotine addiction. Um, it, it fixes the anxiety that it causes temporarily. So, back to what I was saying. Most people will experience physical withdrawal symptoms in the first 24 to 72 hours, and my best advice on physical withdrawal is one, don't make a big deal of it because each of those symptoms aren't a big deal. They usually peak around the first 72 hours. That's why it's so important to get through the first three to four days. After three to four days, most of the nicotine is going to be completely gone from your body. It will have left your body. Now at this point, your body's really going to start that detoxing process. So you might have that continued sweating. Those of you guys who are quitting vaping, you may notice a lot of coughing up mucus and phlegm. That's your body's way of detoxing. It's getting all of that junk that's been sitting within your body out. This is a completely normal process to go through when you quit using nicotine. Now, a lot of people will say, Dr. Frank, can't I use Nicorette gum or nicotine patches or nicotine pouches to help with the physical withdrawals? Well, one, there's absolutely no reason to do that. The physical withdrawals aren't that bad. Two, you're just simply prolonging the withdrawals when you're using Nicorette gum or nicotine patches or nicotine pouches. Even going off slowly is just prolonging the withdrawals. 
And the reason for that is, is because as you continue to consume nicotine products, you continue to keep those nicotine receptors in your brain alive for a longer period of time, which then just simply prolongs the cravings and the withdrawal process. So be sure to subscribe if this is helping. Be sure to smash that like button because I drop a video every day on this. Now, why do some people get really bad physical nicotine withdrawals and why do other people not experience withdrawals at all well a lot of it actually comes down believe it or not to the mindset have you ever known or have you ever been in a situation where you're clinically depressed and when you're really really depressed everything just hurts like your body physically hurts but it's created some of that pain from a mental mind state that you're in well Nicotine withdrawal actually is not that different of a scenario. Think about it. Have you ever been on a vacation or in a situation where you couldn't vape, where you couldn't smoke, where you couldn't chew tobacco for a few days? Maybe you were on a cruise, maybe you were on a trip with your family, and maybe the withdrawals weren't that bad, and you get home and you say, God, I've tried to quit before and the withdrawals were horrible. Why this time weren't they that bad? It's because you weren't focused on it. You weren't giving those nicotine receptors the attention that they want, and therefore they weren't able to cause those physical withdrawal symptoms. Now, after the first 72 hours, usually going into the first three months of quitting vaping, quitting smoking, you're just dealing with cravings. At this point, it's usually dealing with nicotine cravings and mood changes, anxiety, maybe some depression, some mood fluctuations. Now, why does this occur? Because most of those nicotine receptors in your brain are going to be alive for up to three months. But at about the three month mark, most of those nicotine receptors will have dropped down to just normal levels. So you won't have those cravings any longer. It's usually around the three month mark, 12 weeks, where most people say, wow, these cravings are really starting to subside significantly. Now, if that worries you, be sure to check out my video, how to manage any nicotine cravings, and then check out the other video, how to quit for good and never relapse, because both of those videos are gonna help you manage cravings and make them a lot easier to deal with over those next three months. Now, after the three month mark, you really shouldn't be dealing, you're definitely not dealing with physical symptoms of withdrawal, because nicotine left your body within the first three to 10 days. The craving should be significantly less, but now you really have to aim to get to that one year. It takes your brain an entire year to completely heal from nicotine addiction, whether that's if you're trying to quit vaping, quit smoking, or quitting chewing tobacco. It takes your brain about an entire year to fully heal. Now, this doesn't mean it's a painful year. This doesn't mean it's a challenging year. It just simply takes your brain a year to heal. So if you've been smoking, if you've been chewing tobacco, if you're trying to quit, this is a good timeline of what you can expect and what you can anticipate. And I always tell people, if you want to have more success in quitting vaping, quitting using nicotine, quitting smoking, knowing what to expect goes a long way because then you can prepare for what's going to come. So, okay, I have to deal with cravings for three months. That's no big deal compared to dealing with this addiction for the rest of your life. A lot of people will say, Dr. Frank, this sounds hard, but what's harder? Dealing with this addiction, being a slave to this addiction, financially, emotionally, and physically for the rest of your life, or getting through really a 72 hour challenging, semi challenging period, depending on how you look at it. So always remind yourself of that. I have a lot of faith in you guys that you're gonna succeed quitting. If this video helped, be sure to subscribe, be sure to ask questions. I do my best to answer every comment that you guys leave. And then follow me into the next YouTube video on how to never relapse again. Can't wait to see you guys there.